name is uh, Willy Koch. I run supply chain in uh, Coraseal's Western Cape uh, Corrugated Packaging Factory. Coraseal is above all a uh, manufacturing business. We control a lot of our own value chain in that we run recycling paper mill with a recycling plant and as well as uh, four high-speed corrugator factories, soon to be five. I've been with Coraseal since 2014 when they merged with a smaller corrugator that was based in the Cape. That uh, pretty much cemented Coraseal's footprint in the Western Cape. Coraseal has uh, three pillars of existence. The one is economy, the other is society, and the other is sustainability. So our motto is better packaging for a better world. And without recycling and without the uh, efficient collection of waste and turning it back into paper and back into boxes, we would not have a business. Strapping is an extremely important part of our business. It basically secures our finished goods product in terms of bundles and in terms of palletization. So without strapping, uh, it would be extremely difficult to handle and transport our finished goods product. My name is Chandru Wadwani. I'm the Joint Managing Director of Extra Pet. ExtraPet is primarily a PET recycling company, uh, focusing on PET bottles. But we've now added a new range of products uh, in the strapping industry. So we've just launched uh, a year ago our Pro 10 strap, made uh, entirely from discarded PET bottles, and that too primarily green bottles. The business decision that went around deciding on recycled strapping about virgin content strapping was largely based around cost and then secondary to that was the fact that we could recycle in country. Our local is lacquer, that's what we always say. As far as we're concerned, low cost and sustainability trump everything else. Coraseal were one of the first companies uh, we engaged. They themselves have a waste footprint. That was very helpful from the standpoint that they were very open to the idea. It still meant for them that we had to go through a very arduous and regimental testing process. And I think what they found by the end of it is that not only were they benefiting from a local supplier at a far better commercial return for them, but the quality was in no way compromised compared to what they were getting from the top producers in Europe. We collect uh, a lot more of green than we ever would have. Um, so to have a local offset market to allow us to collect more waste locally uh, has that benefit when you import. Uh, not only are you cleaning up someone else's mess, but the cost dynamics are far more disadvantageous to local industry. So really it's, it's a win-win in so many dimensions at the end of the day. If we're not focused on sustainability and getting the most out of our raw materials, then we're doomed to fail.